Okay. Hopefully my mic's now working and and everything is working properly. Oh my gosh! Another one of these. How's it going, Jotaro? How's it going, Snell? Hopefully you guys are doing well in the chat. Anyone else in the chat? How you doing? I'm hoping you're having a fantastic evening. Or morning, excuse me. I just woke up. I'm not all there. Today's gonna be a fun day. Oh man, you know how, I mean, oh crap, you know how much I've been itching for this? Oh man, all right, for anyone out there, we will be playing on the PS4 version of the beta. We will be doing a lot more other stuff before we get straight online. I want to see everything this game has, this beta has to offer, and just go from there, all right. So this is your host, Claire Fox. So I hope you guys are having a great morning this morning. I am do apologize that I am not all there. I'm tired as a son of a bitch, but I will do my best to try to bring some entertainment into this. Serenity, how you doing? Yeah, you think it would have saved my data from the previous one. We are going to go to the North American region where Let's see, East Coast. I don't care. I don't care. As long as we get to a lobby, that works. But practically, I don't want to really go into the lobby just yet. I want to see all the other stuff this thing has to offer. Welcome to the world of Dragon Ball Fighters! Where you can screw the rules because we got Goku's! We got some Goku's all over the place. Bro, well, match looks like it's on. Now, where is this training stuff? Like the training phase and all this other stuff is supposed to have. We definitely get ourselves a Goku. I put myself with a cheetah for right now. And Okay, so we got Kid Boo in this. And we got Beer as his new characters. Nap as a character. Why the hell would I want Nappa? Give me my team Gohan, you son of a bitches. Alright, I'll put Gohan in there. Oh crap, we got some new stages, it looks like. Alright, I don't care about the stage. Make that random. All right. Let's see, select my lobby character. All right, cool. Let's see. World match replay. That's close. Practice. All right, let's go through some training. Let's see what we got going on here. Holy crap, man. I'm too excited for this shit. Oh man, I'm going to be doped up with caffeine, it seems like.
Good to know, Bud's right here. All right. No one, no two. Okay, I'll take that. Circle. R2. Watch, just gonna maybe go through the menu all over again. Dude, dude, I'm, I'm gonna have so much fun with this right here. All right, fight up close from a distance. Let's see. This should be a great fight. Is everything auto combo based? I thought. Huh. It's a little interesting. I don't. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, maybe that wasn't there. Let's see. The art of battle. Oh, crap. We get to actually see the other characters like Yamcha and just crap into this. Oh, this might be worth it, actually. It might be actually a little bit worth actually playing in the training mode for a minute. Now I just changed all the default buttons on this, so I don't want to try to get used to this. I gotta remember how to charge. Let me wake up, Joe. Let's see what Joshua's got. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna die before this is ended. Oh, yeah. They wanted me to be Yamcha, so I defeated Yamcha. Simple as that. See you later. God damn, this game looks so fucking good, man. I can't wait for the 26. Even though I got it for three days, I want like full blown game, man. Full blown. All right, battles are about attacking. You need to defend yourself too. All right, yeah, we're gonna learn how to block and use Dragon Dash, which Dragon Dash should be my R two. So we get to look at Tien Yamcha, but I kind of wish they would be more of attacking. So hopefully this Tien's gonna attack since we are in blocking phase now. <laughs> Yes, 
Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Tien actually looks pretty good. Break your post guard with Dragon Rush. That's Dragon Rush. Let me verify my buttons correct because that should be Dragon Rush. Yeah, Dragon Rush is on. Uh, uh, oh, actually, Dragon Rush is not an orange sword too. Let me see some. Vanish is medium and heavy, so I can get rid of that and I can put that there. Dragon Rush is a grab. Okay, I was kind of confused there. Meteor Smash, because seems to regage us. Warp coming at me, ha. Uh, mm, R, R0, confused. You tell me, Serenity, that you got to debate whether or not you can, you're going to buy this <coughs> by playing the, the beta. You can't automatically decide that, hey, wait a minute, this is Dragon Ball. I'm going to buy this game no matter what. Come on, Serenity. Come on. This game should have been pre-ordered day one when it came out. <laughs> Wants me to use circle. What was circle default? That definitely is a circle default. That is definitely not a circle default. This looks too damn beautiful to play, man. Holy crap. All right, that's good. Like I said, we're gonna be playing like the training section. We're gonna be going through everything on training, and then we're gonna go pop online, see what we got on the line. Helping hands, you're not alone in this time. Use Z assist and Z to change. You should call upon your allies. 
I mean, I kind of understand all this from the original beta, but I want to see. Hey, at least I got a fucking Team Gohan now. Couldn't put that in a fucking beta except for training. Oh, now I got Team Gohan. That's my favorite character in this game. That's legit my favorite character. L1 there. You know what? I need to set this. Does this thing is not on the uh, default C? That's a snapback. Okay. So, I want to see this. If I grab someone. That's what I was looking at. I'm so in love right now. It's pathetic. So, so that's something else I want to learn. All right, so I learned where the snapback's at. I'm learning about my vanish. Something else I want to see. Mastering mid-air move is crucial. You'll have to get an upper hand in battle and better control if you can, but perform mid-air, dashes, high jumps, and more. All right, let's do this. Like I said, I want to go through all the training phase first. I want to get this concept down 100%. Looks like it's got instant air dash. Let's <laughs> go. 
Okay, looks like I got the IAD in this. That's what it feels like, it because it wasn't double tapping, that was 9 9. I was using the shortcut. Let's see, the ports of recovery. Uh, Alright, onslaught, let's get to this. Like I said, I gotta learn all this, so I might as well learn all this, right? Then the words of Shia LaBeouf just do it. Stop complaining, just fucking do it. Oh man, hopefully you guys are doing pretty well today. Ah, that's actually nice. I'm almost getting bored with the train section. I almost feel like just going online now. There's stuff that I still need to learn, so let's see. Seven Dragon Balls, control your key, defeat your opponent, and style. Uh, it should start working. That's how I'm playing it. Like I downloaded it and I went straight on there and says go online. Yep, and I play it.
おめえの力見せてくれUh, you might also need to download the, um, crap, the early access one, too. You have to download the beta as well as the early access, uh, key in order to play it. Okay, 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 so we got this. Let's see. Look at that trunks. Okay. So I'm a Shinron. So, okay, now I can see how that's gonna be fair. Like, there was a conversation I had with a couple people about that. To where they did not like the Dragon Ball system because they felt like it, they felt like it was going to be more of a uh, combat system that they were not going to appreciate. That it was not going to be fair in a sense because oh wow, he, as long as he gets the Dragon Balls, he can wish himself back. But you got to earn those Dragon Balls. You you just can't just be like oh give me that Dragon Ball. And, uh, you actually got to earn it. That's worth it. That is actually worth it in my personal opinion. I know this is kind of bored for a lot of people to watch right now, and I apologize. Get ready for battle. <laughs> but like I said, what I wanted to do in this in particular is just go through the training first, and then we'll hit for the online matches afterwards. <laughs> Matamada! Please, oh, but she's there! 
Did I change my my L1? No, my L1 still um. Let's see, light, medium, heavy, special attack. R1 and R2 has not been changed. All right, when. Or L2. Drop it out. That's what it was. Okay, so you gotta press back, then forward. All right. I want to track that. That's actually very useful to know. I said, Krillin would hit me again. If Krillin would hit me again, this would be very useful. Okay. I like that. So, we end up defending. I can actually guard cancel that. Uh, that's actually something nice to know that I didn't know. Learn to control your key. Like I said, we're going through a whole bunch of different shit right now. Trying to learn all this. I plan to probably do like a 50 hour long live stream if I can stay awake. Hey, 
ッチ掴んだんか次行ってみっかいいぞバッチリだドキだストップ Because I have that, I would go with all three. Yeah, it's got his hand So I got that. I already figured out was all that, but instant air dash is nice. No, it's actually in here. So if you just nine and five, you're good. Let's do the last training. Even though the last, the first two says I didn't complete it, I completed it. I don't give a shit what it says. Then we get online casual matches. At least the music's still fucking amazing in this. I gotta give him credit, the music's actually really fucking amazing. Okay, what's my button special circle? Oh, it should be triangle, okay. I'm gonna run back to that. Meteor attack is quarter circle back R1 or R2. That's not me. That's not meteor attack. There it is. Okay, that works. Yep. 
Alright, Crow wins! Fight people gotta get in the middle of the lobby. Alright. Training's over. Give me one quick second here. Time to set up to go play people. Okay. Practice is done. Look at that, people are going to World Tournament, though. We're going to take a look at the World Tournament. Let's find a casual match real quick. Actually, actually, might be in Rick, actually. Well, let's put the guests in there. See, I screwed up my name again. The L's not supposed to be capitalized. Ah, son of a bitch. Come on, well, I got some matches. Where was my matches at? You fat blob, where's my matches at? Nope, Teen Gohan's on the beta, only adult. Which makes me sad. I really wanted Teen Gohan. Because I really like the Teen Gohan. Uh, let's put the same as me, let's see. I should be able to get a match, shouldn't I? Matches! Options! I press option, what? They said press option, I press option. Uh, I pre ordered it early. And then when I typed in in the PlayStation Store Dragon Ball Z Open Beta, it had early access and it had open beta. You need the early access to play tonight. <coughs> Otherwise, your open beta does not work till tomorrow. Come on, I want to play online. Hurry up. Man, these people have some great names. I'm just gonna say, I'm looking at all these names right now.
I almost feel like I need to switch lobbies. Let's switch lobbies. Let's see if that helps out. Let's see if that's going to help out or not. Maybe we need to switch lobbies to where people in the middle might be fighting. Let's see. Nope, no one in the middle is fighting. Oh, look, Kakarot. Oh, that's it. That is a beautiful name. All right. Search for Matt. I'm trying to get into some online matches. It's still searching. Like, no one is playing arena, so... Excuse me. Come on, like to do an online match here, there. Whee! Online beta, come on. I think arena matches still work. Actually, it might not work. Arena does not work. Huh, interesting. So they are testing this right now. It might be doing rank matches is what I'm thinking. Let's try a rank. Let's give rank a shot. If rank shows up, hey, we good. If rank does not show up, then um, I'm a little confused about how to play. That's the only thing. Like, I'm trying to get a match. Like, I am waiting for it to say, oh, you got a match. Let's go. And then go do the match. So far, I'm leading to see that we are getting absolutely nothing. Why are we getting nothing? I want to play some Dragon Ball Fighters, you know what I'm saying?
See, if I was Arc System Works, I would have just done lobbies. Like, not like this, like actual just like player matchups. So here's a player match, start a player match, and invite your friends to just play. Like Guilty Gear XR, and you put some arcade cabins in there. Let's try. Let's see. Let's try this one more time. Since rank's not working. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by the, the Gohans. I'm changing my stuff. I, I don't want that no more. Uh, player lists, customize. It's like a lot of characters. Give me something different. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about putting... We're going to try Gohan, but I'm probably going to go ahead and switch it over to Beerus. All right, searching for match. Searching for match. Oh, gosh. Jotaro, your worst enemy's here. Dio. Oh, come on, dudes. Where the fuck's my goddamn matches at? Oh, look, there's a JoJo. Where the hell's my casual matches? Where's my rank matches? Where's any fucking match right now? All my matches. Am I got to switch lobbies again? I mean, I don't think I should have to. Match entry. Pause it. Let's resume it. Might just have to actually wait. It may take 15 minutes to get a match. I don't want that. Let's try a different lobby. Go back to the first lobby. All right, that was full. Let's go to the second lobby. I'm trying to get matches going right now, and I'm not sure why my matches aren't coming through. I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head over here. We're going to end the casual match, and we're just going to wait it out. And hopefully, something happens. And while we take this time to reflect, welcome to Dragon Ball Fighters. Welcome to my channel. My name is Claire Fox Soul, and I play Arc System Work games that are only Guilty Gear. I play Blaze Blue. I don't like Blaze Blue. I play primarily Guilty Gear. I've done that for four years. And now I'm playing Dragon Ball Fighters because screw the fucking rules. I got a Goku. Come on. You would think that the match that matches would not take this long to find with everybody getting into the early access beta. It's got to be something like the servers or something. I kind of like how those two are merged together, and it kind of makes like a Majin Saiyan. Looks like Majin Buu would have said. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? This is legit getting annoying. I feel like I go, like, run around the Taco Bell or something and come back. Yeah, the freaking matchmaking is slow as hell. Get fucked. Yeah, I'm getting fucked right now. 
Jesus. Look, we did the training. I want to go play online matches, and I'm just sitting here waiting. I am just legit sitting here waiting for matches. Okay, that right there with the cell mixed together kind of makes me look like a uh, Bardock Super Saiyan. Like the red underneath the, the hair. Kind of gives that bandana look. The server is down. Well, that's fucking great. Well, hopefully we'll get some matches in, Matsu. See, they should have left the arena. They should have left the arena going. But now this is a news guy, but they should have left the arena. Unless you get an arena here. Nope. Because, I mean, arena was slow as hell, but at the same point in time, I got matches because of it. I gotta make another new account. You can just use your old one. The bay is open to everybody, so you can use an account. Unless you just don't want to be found out. Oh. Jotaro. Congratulations, Xbox has got servers at work apparently. Unless I'm doing something wrong. That's the only thing I can think of is I'm doing something wrong. Like, because of this guy, alright, you tell this guy I want to enter a casual match. Match completion rule, high cup competition only, higher. One bar or higher. Let's try that. Maybe if I tell it on a broad spectrum that I want you to go a little bit higher, it'll actually we'll be like, oh, we found you a match. I don't believe you need PSN Plus. You might. Like for a split second, I had one that said match. And when I, as soon as I hit the start button to go into that match, it just stopped. Fuck me, what the fuck's going on with PlayStation? That's why, yeah, you probably do need PlayStation Plus because PlayStation Plus only allows you to play games online with that. No, that's why we're gonna get the PC. That's why we also get the PC version, and so that way I can play in the PC version. I'm also gonna get the Xbox version to play like Jotaro and Xbox. But that's gonna come later. That's not gonna come like right off the bat. Right now, I got debts to sell up. I gotta pay back a few people that helped out, so I gotta try to do that first. But, not gonna lie, family is kinda the same situation of not making it too easy. Damn. Wasn't there supposed to be also another mode that was supposed to be added into this, like a uh, dramatic mode or something? To where, like, you had, like, a little bit of a story? Like, that's replay. That's rankings. Like, I thought I read on the uh, notes that there was supposed to be, like, a story mode thing where like, like two um what they call it starts 
If you get... Yeah, I guess the wife's sleeping. I mean, goddamn, it is fucking like 3 o'clock in the morning, and we have not gotten a single match except for the training shit. Oh, IADs! Oh, Matsu. While you're in the chat, we could talk for a little bit. Number one. I've learned something in Guilty Gear. Which I am trying to, which I now have discovered is in Dragon Ball Fighters. I finally learned it. IAD. I learned the timing. And, um, uh, your, your friend, um, uh, crap, what's his name? Uh, you're gonna know who I'm talking about. AI site? His basic information from back in the day, I remembered it. And he's actually right, like 9-9, nine, nine, the shortcut, actually works. Because I know it's like 9 and eh, neutral, then it goes to like 6. No, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 6, isn't it? No. Yeah, 9-6. Well, instead of doing 9-6, nine, 9-9 nine, nine works. So, I learned instant air dashing. Um, square gate, actually, I have to admit, if you don't ride the rails, per se. It's a lot easier to do your inputs. Still practicing that. 99 isn't supposed to work, but it's working. Like, I could tell the difference because like, when you go into like Soul Bad Guy, uh, like a Soul Bad Guy combo in a sense, and you try to do like an air dash, Towards him, if you do like 9 6 or 9 9, so automatically, like, does like a mini little air dash, and you can continue it all from there. Well, 9 5 9 or 9, uh, yeah, it's probably 9 6. I'm, I'm thinking it wrong. Yeah, forgive me, it's fucking uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. I still haven't gotten a fucking match and I'm getting bored. Running around this lobby. So I learned that. Uh, with Soul Bad Guy. On Square Gate. It's a lot easier when you do like a wild throw. To actually do. Basically. Uh, let me get my let me get myself right. 2HS. Jump uh, cancel into slash, jump cancel slash, into uh, drag into a uh, volcanic viper. It didn't kick, so that's actually a lot easier on Square Gate than it is on Octagonal. <coughs> because it feels like it actually, because of the Octagonal, it's automatically forced that way. The only issue that I was having was blocking, but after watching a couple of videos of Square Gate and realizing that apparently. Players like yourself, I'm not sure, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong about this, but according to the video that I watched, Square Gate, it was for Street Fighter. If you play at Square Gate and you're an American and you play it like ride the rails, you're not gonna have basically good inputs. What you wanna do is you wanna try to stay within the gate. So by staying within the gate and not actually touching the, the edging actually seems to be a lot better. Have you learned jump cancels though? Like when you talk about jump cancels, like if I go ahead and do like a nine, I go jump towards them and they're jumping towards me and then my kick lands and then from that point when I land my kick, I could go ahead and go nine S, -A uh, S nine S into Volcanic Viper and then break. Gotta admit though, a lot of people that I've fought on Guilty Gear, I'll have to show you some replays. Um, I was doing something that I said I would never do in my life. Fuck all this time, let's voice record the I don't have it up right now! I just stole that bitch on this computer. I fucking changed everything, like, 
No, I'm just getting short answers from me. We can voice chat later. There's no biggie. I'm just telling you a couple of different things. Like, I did something I never thought in my life I would ever do. I started taunting. I would go like Fafnir, and if it would hit like this Raven, for example, they got really pissed off. And then I would do the back taunt to make Soul go ahead and give the fucking finger to him. And I did that like three fucking times. And I don't know how, but he got so pissed off and he started like sending, sending fucking like messages in the lobby. Calling me a little fucking bitch and shit. Like I was fucking laughing my ass off on that like. Now I'm starting to understand because like a lot of people have kind of like hit uh, Guilty Gear XR because. Oh Dragon Ball Fighters is coming out. We're gonna go play Guilty Gear to get better for Dragon Ball Fighter since it's basically made by the same people in the same concept, blah blah blah. Motherfuckers have no idea, and I was just getting fucking pissed off, like, the casual mentality. Like, my goal in this game is to find every fucking Xenoverse fucking weeaboo that there fucking is. The ones that especially say that this game's a piece of shit. And my goal is to get as good as this game as possible and fucking annihilate them and to piss them off in some way, shape, form. I don't know what happened to me. I used to be that type of person that's like, you know, casuals aren't too fucking bad. Let's just play fucking games and have it. No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Fuck that shit. Get the fuck off this game. You don't know shit, you're only playing this because Dragon Ball Fighters are coming out and you just want to try to get a fucking edge on this shit. Get the fuck out of the fucking game. Guilty Gear is only made for real people. People who actually love it. Like, no offense, but screw up by like fucking Maximilian, dude. Like, that man was like all fucking hyping up Gu Guilty Gear XR and all of a fucking sudden, it's like, oh, I'm playing, uh, I'm finally biking here. I have no excuse. I can play the game. And he plays the game like two times. And then his excuse is, is that, well, people have played this game longer than me, so there's no real point for me to get into this game and actually play it because I am, everybody's too much of a higher skill level. It's like, you know, when I play Guilty Gear XR Sign, Monty, you, you, you are still the highest skill cap for me. Whether I play any fighting game, you're the highest skill cap for me. But, without you, and I'm going to be 100% honest, without your ass actually going ahead and taking the time to show me different things and trying to teach me, I wouldn't be where I'm at in Guilty Gear. Like, I can le legit at least hold my own, as long as I don't fucking mash, against a majority of people. My thinking process, though, needs to change. My neutral game needs to come out somehow. Like, I definitely need to have a neutral game. I don't have one. However, that I'm going to be working on, actually, because the reason why I've not been live streaming as much is not really because of family problems or anything. It's because I actually developed a relationship at work. Because the relationship I developed at work is, I did not realize, but the person who I talked to actually competed in Evo and stuff like this. He's not really a competitive player, but he is to a certain degree. Like, he doesn't consider himself casual, but he doesn't consider himself competitive because he hasn't really touched the competitive side in a couple of years since like 2012. But he really loves Street Fighter. And every Friday afternoon, right after work, I'm bringing my PlayStation 4 to work. And Friday afternoons at the Claiborne building, we're just gonna sit there and whoever wants to join us, that's cool. But he is an FGC person here and he loves fighting games. He wants to play Guilty Gear, Dragon Ball Fighters, and Street Fighter. And like when we actually discussed like my neutral game and he was watching a couple videos, he's like, you have no neutral game. And he was trying to explain to me that, you know, what might help you out. And it's the same thing that Majin Obama, because Majin Obama, I did not realize, actually comes from where I live at. And we were discussing this, and 
Majin Bob might be right, is that if I play a little bit of Street Fighter and I actually play it and not bitch about it, <coughs> maybe the slow pacedness of Street Fighter and understanding Street Fighter will actually help benefit me in multiple games because it will teach me a neutral game. So apparently my my co-worker Julio is kind of like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you try to build up a neutral game so that way you can adapt that to any fighting game. Like he's going to kind of like try to help me out to understand a little bit better value in a local scenario. That's what I want to get educated in. My god, I'm still waiting for a fucking match. Like, Jesus Christ. Maybe I just need to... You know what? Let's go do this. Let's just go ahead and exit out this lobby. Like, is anyone even getting matches right now? Let's see if West Coast got something. There's a green boo. I did not realize it's a green kid boo. All right. Anything goes. Let's go. Come on. This is like the very first night that I played the beta. Like even Arena did this in the beginning with the PlayStation 4 beta. I think if I'm not mistaken, Xbox hardly anybody can get matches because of the uh, because of their servers, and now Xbox is getting matches. Almost feel like I need to quit the game and restart the game and hope for the best. But it should be working, should it not? Can't talk in this chat, like legit. Quit to the title. All right, let's quit to the title real quick. Let's make it restart everything. Aha! So the servers are down. Something's going on. Something is definitely going on. It's like, it's like, I guess when you're logged in right now, it's all completely in limbo. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, I guess we're gonna have to wait to play. Luckily, I have no work Monday, so whenever they decide to get this beta up and running would be fucking fantastic. I should have gotten the Xbox version, should have not. You know what's funny? I got an Xbox One, right? And you know how you, you kind of like have to have this like plus account in order to play online on that thing? I have not paid for plus account on that fucking thing, and I still, for some apparent reason, can play online on that. Like... It doesn't even say that I have a plus account or anything. It doesn't say like, oh, you pay for Microsoft Gold membership. It just says Microsoft uh, Silver membership. And it still allows me to play online for some apparent reason. Like, I can still play Killer Instinct on that online. I can still play whatever I want online through that game. For that game console. On PlayStation 4, if you miss one day of PlayStation Plus, oh, you can't play. Although, if I'm not mistaken, I thought that uh, they were doing something to where, like, on Saturdays and Sundays with PlayStation, this was like a while back, 
that they were supposed to have it to where it's like a free weekend type deal sometimes to where if you don't have PlayStation Plus but you can still play all these games online on Saturdays and Sundays and such all right and I gotta say I do love this Hori stick So, yo, yo, did you pre-order for how did you get it? Uh, dude, anybody who pre-orders the game can get into it. What the fuck? Yo, what kind of idiot sometimes? I get to the point to where, that's where I think my attitude's coming into place, is that I'm starting to think that everybody in the world's an idiot. And it's changing my personality. Like, I used to be this humble, nice person and now everything fucking annoys me so now it's a failing to initialize the network It's no, uh, it's the hor yeah, it's the Hori uh, Real Arcade Pro N4. Like, it's the big one. Uh, I know tr uh, there's like several different names for this, but the best way I can describe it is it's the Tekken 7 uh, Collector's Edition stick. The only thing that I don't like about it, and I'm getting used to it though, but I don't like about it, is the stick. Like, it's the same problem I have with the Mad Cats, and I think I need to get a two pound spring for it, is that the stick feels loose, and I don't like that. I want to get something that feels a little bit stiffer. I had the same problem with the Mad Cats when I first got the Mad Cats, that I felt the stick was, like, too wobbly, and then when I turned, when I put that two pound spring in it, that everything was fine. And I got that two pound spring in my other arcade stick that I have, the sole one. Which I'm not retiring the soul stick, I'm just putting the soul stick on the side because I want a different stick for when we're going to go do these FGC stuff every Monday and Fridays here. That I have a different stick I can bring with me and I didn't want to bring my good $400 stick, I wanted to go buy something cheap and this was like 150 bucks, so I was like, it's cheap, buy it. My GameStop was trying to get rid of it, and I actually used one like my coupon code and everything to get an extra 50 bucks off of it, so it's only like 100 bucks. Like, they only have one in stock, and it was because some guy ordered it, and he never picked it up, so I was like, I'll take it. You know, I think we're going to reverse. I think we're going back in a situation where... When PlayStation people were working in the old beta, now Xbox is working in the new beta and PlayStation is not. No idea why it's not working for me. You know what I'm gonna do? Get back to the PlayStation menu. Close this application. restart this application because I want to play I want online matches I've been waiting since an hour ago did the tutorials learned the training in this understand now that there is a few concepts in this which actually is nice like guard break and now I want to play and when I went to go try to do online I just sat there and I was like let's close the game and restart the game maybe it might work and ever since I closed the game it's like the servers are down now. It's like, oh, sorry, we're are preparing network con the net connection, but wait, it stops right here. We failed to initialize network. And apparently I got someone who's on the Xbox that's getting matches on top of damn matches, which is making me fucking regret getting, a play play getting the PlayStation version. Because I don't think the PC has a beta. It was only PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I got the Xbox, I mean the PS4 version. Because, well, I like PS4. 
This is a fucking piece of crap right now. I'm sure they're gonna fix it. Like, give it a, like, if I keep doing this after a few minutes, a few hours, or whatever, they should fix this. Well, someone came in here and said that the uh, lobby is, the, the servers were down, and I'm guessing, but the, the servers are down, and how come there was people in there playing? Like, just walking around the lobby. Xenoverse beta was just like this. Jeez. I never played the Xenoverse beta. I'm gonna be honest. Xenoverse, I played it. I'm beating it. I like the concept of it for a little while. And then I got to the point to where I'm just gonna be completely honest. Xenoverse is stupid to me. Like, that's the one thing I gotta get Dragon Ball Fighters that I do like, is that if you look at the story mode that's gonna be associated with this, it's not your typical, hey look, fucking Raditz, Vegeta, the go through the Saiyan Saga, then the Frieza Saga, the Cell Saga, the Majibu Saga, no, we actually got an original fucking story. And no one can tell me that Xenoverse's story was fucking original. No one can tell me that shit. Originally, like Xenoverse 1, okay, I like the concept. We're going back in time. We're going to fix the history. Hey, look, we got to do the same fucking bullshit in Xenoverse 2. You can't change the fucking storyline, you know, fix up a little bit, do some other stuff. And it's, no, 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 no. We got to do time patrollers and shit like this. All right, fuck this shit. And then the online section, I didn't really care for Xenoverse's online. Like to me, it's it's the same concept as Smash Brothers. I'll play Smash Brothers once in a while, but I don't like Smash Brothers. I don't find it to be a legitimate fighting game. Smash Brothers to me is just a party game. Xenoverse Online seems to be and for people who like Xenoverse, look, this is just my opinion, and I'm just saying, look, I'm not saying that you're bad or whatever. I'm not trying to say that you're stupid in playing Xenoverse, but this is just like my core concept on this. When it comes to Xenoverse, it just looks like a shit, a shit show playing online. Like, when I play Xenoverse 1, when I got the Japanese version and everything, and then I got the American version, I played that shit online. It was like, I was getting decimated in the very first game online because someone had like super, uh, not super, uh, Android 17's like wave attack, which was like full fucking screen. And there was nothing you can do. You can block this shit, but it takes all your stamina away. And then you take a hit. And then they were spamming the fucking shit as a Super Saiyan. That kind of pissed me off. Xenoverse 2, you got none but fucking Goku spammers. And it's like, what the fuck, man? Like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't go through it. So that's kind of the reason why I never really cared for Xenoverse as a game. Now, what I kind of wish they always fucking did during the time of Xenoverse, which they gave me with fighters here, is I always made the joke, but like, yo, if you really want to please me, release Dragon Ball Z Budokai like three, or make like a like a PSN game of Dragon Ball Z Budokai four or something, and just release it as a Budokai. Or you see, actually, I'm gonna be honest. During my during my days with Dragon Ball games, uh, Budokai was not actually my favorite. It was the other one. What was it called? Uh, Tenkachi Budokai, uh, Budokai one, two, and three. The one where the camera was on the back side of the character and you were able to dash and all this. It, that one, which Xenoverse kind of does that, but it, I don't know. Xenoverse, something is wrong with Xenoverse in that sense. Takachi, uh, Takachi Budokai, that series, I really did like. Compared to like Budokai 1, 2, and 3. I like the other series of Budokai. That, that was fun. 
Like, I don't know how much fun I had on that. Rage and Blast was the same concept, but I don't know. Rage and Blast also did something that I did not like. And then Burst Limit was like the attempt of reviving Budokai, but apparently they didn't hit mainstream enough to, to qualify for a second sequel, so... Yeah. And then... I was all excited for Xenoverse, man. Like, I, when Xenoverse was first enough, I was so excited. And I loved it. But what I hate about Dragon Ball games, and that's what I like about Dragon Ball Fighters from looking at the story trailer, it's not the same story. How many times in a Dragon Ball game can you go through the Saiyan Saga all the way to the Majin Buu Saga and then possibly go into GT and everything? Like, honestly, and the more that they would create games during the decades or the years later as each game would come out, it's like they would bastardize the entire story. So, like, you, you like, Budokai did it right with the first game. The very first game did it perfect, the story. And then Budokai 2 and 3 kind of should have taken over from, like, my personal opinion, like the Majin Buu saga. And then kind of, like, prolong it. But what ended up, but when you go into, like, the future games of Dragon Ball, it's like, oh, <coughs> we gotta take this story and we gotta kinda like make it different. But you're missing so many points of riders like you're missing the points of the entire story because you're kinda rushing it through. Ultimate Takachi, I did not like that because that was rock, paper, fucking scissors. That's all that fuck that was. But at least it had uh, the second story mode, which was original, and you made your own character, and it was a Saiyan, and all that, but the fucking game was stupid. And then, I was one of those dumb fucks. Not gonna lie, I was one of them dumb fucks that bought this shit. Which was Dragon Ball Evolution for the PSP. It played like Budokai, it felt great in the hands, but it just looked like shit. So you have the same problem, what's the same problem? Try to get in the game? Because the servers are down and I'm waiting to open the god that the servers are going to kick on here any minute? I don't think Bandai... Or our system works with prepared for this fucking shit. Hopefully they're fixing their shit right now. So I'm in the I'm more in the conversational speaking, if that's the case. Like I'm I'm hitting the button and I'm just sitting here because I I'm fucking playing this and I want to talk Dragon Ball, man. I want to talk Dragon Ball. Like I'm not sure if anybody else agrees with me on this, but when you come down to Dragon Ball games, right? Budokai, officially to me, like Budokai. I'm going to say the PS2 Budokai, the very first one, all the way to what we have to this day. Budokai did it right. It did not shortchange the story. It fucking told the story of Dragon Ball Z to a T to the Cell Saga. Kinda of was disappointed they didn't go to the Majin Buu saga, but it did tell the story. But it just seems that since that time period, all the way till now, the only other games, but I don't consider them much, which was the GBA games, the uh, Game Boy Advance of like Goku's Legacy. Uh, those were all right. That did tell the story, but you had to read that shit. But when it came down to future games, it's like they would always shortchange the Dragon Ball Z storyline. That's what kind of pissed me off, and then at the same point in time, it's like, yeah, we already know this bullshit. We already know about the Rat of Super Saiyan Saga and such. Like, honestly, I think it was probably, like, towards the thing to which I made a comment before. Like, when it came to, like, Xenoverse and such. Xenoverse 2 had a good concept. Like, okay, we, we're gonna bring in, like... Turles and Lord Slug and stuff like this. We're gonna kind of change it up, but it was the same fucking story as Xenoverse 1. And yes, I play when I play a Dragon Ball game, I expect the story to be something. What I was kind of hoping for with Xenoverse 2 was something a little bit different. 
Like, instead of kind of like starting back all, we gotta go all the way back to the Rata Saga and we gotta go through all the fucking story of Dragon Ball. Let's just fucking go to like a whole completely original storyline. Like, at this time period, Super's taking off. Everybody knows about Dragon Ball Super and all this. You're already make, you're already showcasing trailers of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You should have probably just did like a good portion of Dragon Ball Super in that. You could have done all the Dragon Ball movies. There could have been games that could have done like what Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is doing, which is an original story of some sort. Because, I I'm sorry, I how many times can I go through the Saiyan Saga and the Frieza Saga? Like, no, get me wrong, the Frieza Saga is the fucking best saga of them all, because that moment when Krillin fucking dies... It's like... I'm not sure if anybody's gonna get this reference, but it's like a t-shirt that I saw. From the, uh, the movie The Room slash Disaster Artist that just came out with Tommy Wiseau. Frieza, you're tearing me apart! And then all of a sudden, Goku goes like completely changes fucking amazingly his fucking pupils go out of the back of his fucking head he wants to go ahead this is the moment where Goku wants to murder Frieza like that part yeah I don't mind I, I, I really don't mind like them putting that like showcase and stuff like that but at the same point in time Xenoverse kind of lightly changed not lightly changed but they kind of like took it too lightly that's the best wording I can put for that they took it too lightly because like Budokai prolonged that shit like with Hero's Desperation as the song in the background and everything it was like the anime it was like you could see the frustration you could see Goku be like I won't forgive you for this shit and then go super say it and it wasn't short it it was actually you saw the transformation like, there is scenes. If you're going to do an entire Dragon Ball Z storyline, don't fuck up the story. Like, yeah, get rid of the fucking filler bullshit. But when it comes down to the key aspect of Dragon Ball story... Oh, 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 what, 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 what? That was different. I just pressed X because I was expecting thing. What was that? Hold up. Hold up. Do I get to play? Oh. Okay, so they finally actually took the server down because they were realizing, oh, this is all fucked up. Alright, let's play against CPU. Hey, it gives us something to play. Not online matches, but at least we got something now. After an hour and 25 minutes. Are you ready?
Oh, no. We, we, we just gotta just, like, continue off. We just got to press yes every time we want to play, like, a match. That's with the CPU. I got a blows. All right, I got a Kid Boo and Nappa in a cell. Let's try Kid Boo out. At least it gave me something. It's not what I wanted. I wanted online matches. I wanted to fight people. I wanted to fight all the, Z the Xenoverse players. But apparently, we got something at least. Oh, and this should be a bad offense. Like, it should be automatically, if you skip an intro, you lose the game. That is one thing that should be received for this game. I can steal you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's What's gonna get me? I don't really like that, but that's too slow for me. I almost kind of feel like we should wait till the open beta starts to where I gonna where it's officially gonna start, so that way we get to actually play online. Hopefully by then they'll fix the servers. Like wait a couple hours. So it's about another hour. So I mean, we'll play a couple of matches like this. Probably gotta stop. All right, I get to try out a dog go on for a little bit. Like, I want to get a concept of what is the character's abilities, I guess. Something. So, come on, come I'm 
Form, why would he go into a Super Saiyan form? I mean, I would say that comes from um, the family should come on behalf, but still. Why does this look wrong? The angle of this face and that hair, why does that look wrong? Something's wrong with that picture there. I kind of like Gohan. Still not my team, Gohan. My team, Gohan's my shit, man. Now, I kind of wonder if I could do three Gokus. Like, if I get a Goku Blue, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Goku, Super Saiyan, and then I got Black Goku, I should be able to put all three of those on my damn team. I legit should. Wait, did they actually have dialogue between each other? No, no, they don't. They kind of do, but they don't. Kind of don't. Okay. The 
What was the command to get him in Golden uh, Golden Freezer, then? If I get to him. How do you use specials? Uh, you have to do quarter circles, like, tells you the thing. Like, to do a super, I would say it's like quarter circle back, heavy, or key blast, a or a quarter circle forward. Yo, 
Get the fuck, that's what it does like a first pick. <laughs> At least I'm kinda enjoying myself. Okay, Frieza. <laughs> Let's figure out how to get his golden form. I love Kempo so far. Freeze in the fight and in, in, in this. Like, I really don't like him. He doesn't appeal to me. Well, apparently, Babco is going to take another hour or so to be able to get this beta going. I really like a kid boo. I'm embarrassed, but I really like kid boo. I'm actually really liking kid boo a lot. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put kid boo in my team somehow. I'm really thinking it. I'm really thinking that kid boo is gonna have to be. Sunday, Majin Gotoki ga hakai shin ni kateru to omou na yo. Ready? 
I know that's completely a Venom setup, and I hate Venom with a passion to go to Guys Heart, but still, I don't know, that feels so much more natural. I really like Beerus, what the fuck wrong with me? It's time to face your opponent. Beerus the kid who I really like so far.
Not right, bro. Really don't like Brelin. Who has a PS4? Nobody. I got a PS4. Even though it doesn't fucking work right now. So they said the server's gonna be down for about an hour, so it won't be until about four or five o'clock till it comes back on. I might actually quit this live stream and restart it back up later and do a second one when actually the online's working. Oh, 
Earlier? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I'll give it that. Hold on. Let's see. Add the friends. There we go. That is friends. No, no need to thank me. I ain't anybody me. If you got a passion to play, that's all I care about. Even though right now we can't play online. And whoever subscribed to the channel, also thank you for that. Alright now, but let's do this shit! I'm a Super Saiyan! Okay, go on, Zach, not too bad. Holy shit, we did a family thing. Hey, I'm lucky. I don't get to work for four days. Man, I'm happy about that. But you get some sleep, Ghost Rider, and I will catch you back whenever you come on the beta, and I should be live stream, hopefully. Oh.
All right, kicking this shit online finally. Are they finally gonna kick this shit online? Or are we in a fuck basically still? I need to find out who's subscribing. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, seriously. Let me see here. Who's just right to this channel? Doesn't YouTube tell me that stuff anymore? Like, so, so subscribe? Apparently not. That's pretty stupid. I got my ways. Let's see. Wow, this is initializing. Waiting for this to come on so that way I can actually play. Hello there, what's up? Lock up the Dragon Ball Simulator. Where... We're trying to get into the beta. Again. We're trying to play something. There's a entire weekend I'm live streaming Dragon Ball Beta. I don't know how many times we'll be live streaming. Like right now? I could stop it for right now and actually go do something else and come back and then when it comes on, then... Dream some more, but hey, we're gonna be playing it. Start the game! Come on! Let's get this started, baby! Well, Joe Toto recommended my channel to you. Holy moly, Joe Toto, what are you doing out there? Uh, Jotaro's not even here right now, most likely, because Jotaro's probably going out the world fight Dio. We're back at this situation now. You know what? Does this work still? Yeah, that still works. Cool, web camera works. All right, let's make sure the web camera works. Give me one second. I want to actually show Jotaro some if he is even in the damn chat. And I need to go take a leak anyway.
<laughs> All right, Daddy's back for a minute. Jill Tower, are you still in the chat? Yes, you are. Once in a while, when you stream or uploads, just share on YouTube Hangouts or some Discord. Well, thank you for that. So while we're at it, got to show you something. Let's see, I know I'm pretty small, and I know I just brighten up that web camera because I turn on a light. But let's see. Um, That screen. All right. We're going to go to this screen really quickly because I want, do want to show you something. So I am going to make the web camera a little bit larger than normal. Uh, resolution. Do that. Interesting, it's not actually popping up. And it should be. Alright, cancel that. Let's see if this works. Alright, that works. So I'm just gonna have to mess with this a little bit. Oh crap. Oh crap. What happened to my game? What happened to my game? Yeah, please don't screw up, game. Please do not screw up. All right, give me one second here. Joe Tara, you still in chat? So we're going to go ahead and show you something that the waifu made for you. Let's take away this image real quick. There we go. Not this again. Oh, yeah, we're going back to this again. Birkin, we're going back to this shit again. All right. Don't mind the mess behind me over there. That's her workstation, but Jotaro. Let's fix my web camera look real quick because I don't like the look of that. It's stupid. Properties. But yes, she did make it. I know she. Pro I think she already told me she did tell you about this, but I just wanted to make sure you saw it. And then we're gonna change that brightness down a little bit because I don't want that much exposure. Where's my damn web camera? God damn it! I don't use web camera enough. So she did make it for you. Is it the right colors? It's the green Chotaro. She made me this. And that's her workstation that she's got ketchup and drinks and stuff all over. That's kind of like, you know, um, a clothes bin and everything down there. So that's kind of like how her workstation is. And I'm not going to bother with it. But that's my Goku. She's actually doing things like this. Um, is it hot? I'm gonna find out, see if she ironed the other stuff. I don't think she did. She made a whole bunch of new stuff too. See, if I ruin this, if I ruin this, she will kill me. So I just try to show this without it being damaged. This is something she has to iron. But this is something else she just worked on. That's right. That's a fucking Pikachu. She made a fucking Pikachu. And she's got a bunch more stuff that she has not finished yet. But also... This is the other Jotaro she made, which is mine. So you're gonna get the green one. Because that's the one you requested. So look, Jotaro Reception. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully it's good enough for you. Because I know that she is one of those people that gets kind of worried about stuff like that.
Let's put this back down together. Voila. And let's see if we can get in this beta one more time. Apparently not. Okie dokie. Doesn't look like we're getting in. So bear with me while I fix something real quick. There we go. All right, we're back to working hard now. No, oh, I understand. At least someone's getting into matches, which is yourself. Me, I can't get into a match if I wanted to. That's what's going on right now. I can't get into matches right now. I want to get into a match, but. wide awake right now I got soda that water down like Goddamn arcade stick and get this shit. So maybe it might be best to go ahead and cancel the live stream for right now. And come back a little while later when I see it working. Since I don't have an Xbox. And apparently Xbox people are able to play. But Sony people can't play. This start button simulator is so amazing. Actually, this is called network simulator because you wait for the network to fucking kick in. You know, this kind of reminds me of the Street Fighter V beta. If anybody remembers that bullshit. They all called it start button simulator because you just got start button and says, I uh -uh, can't connect. And if you were one of the lucky people that got connected into it, you can count yourself lucky. So, yeah, we're in this situation right now. We're in this situation. It's not fun. It's not amazing. It's not the greatest. The 
Makes me sad. I've been totally waiting for this, and I think. Like I'm getting a few minutes here. I mean, I'm going through like the internet while talking to you guys, just praying that this is going to kick in. See, failed to initialize network again. Get a few more minutes. I'm just glad it's not just me that's getting these issues, though, on the PlayStation. How to block and use finishing moves, dude. You hold back and then you do something like a finishing move when their health is like at 10% for the last character. You or their characters at 10% health, excuse me, not the last one, it could be any character. And then you do, if you have three bars or higher, you do a quarter circle back, heavy. Boom. If it lands, you kill them and it's sexy. Or you could even do, to be a destructive finish as well, you could just do a heavy. And that kick will just go send them flying out the ring. And then it's sexy. Hopefully that answers your question, Bon. But, yeah. Blocking is holding back. We're not in button days. We're not playing, Marvel, we're not playing uh, Mortal Kombat. You play Street Fighter. You play an, an anime game. Wait, did I even? Yeah, I might be wrong. Hold on, I think I know I might be wrong. This is wrong. Guarantee this is wrong. Hold on. Yeah, we got two subscribers. Okay, now I see everything. Now that's amazing. Let's go down here. Let's go to my event list. Let's go down a little bit. Make sure he keeps that. Press, uh, go to save button that. Oh, save settings. Come back up. Launch. Okay, so Kenny Voltaire, David Ramirez, Ghost Rider, and Toru Achi are the recent followers or subscribers to the channel. There, I finally got it. I'm glad you did an amazing job. Glad you like it. Like I said, right now we're kind of stuck in this situation where I'm trying to get in this. Doesn't look like it's going to work. So I am not going to go ahead and make you people wait any much longer. I'm going to go ahead and call the live stream quits for this. And then whenever the, the search kick out back on for me, I will return. So until next time, Dragon Ball Fighters, welcome to Network Simulator. Until it's fixed. Still a great game. Can't wait for the full blown version to come out that actually will be 100% working. Hopefully. So until next time, guys, take it easy. I will catch you later today, hopefully. And we will play some more Dragon Ball Fighters right here on my channel. And again, thank you for the subscribers. I appreciate it. Until next time, see you later.